A couple years ago, I was asked to come up with some sort of community TV show where we wanted to get information out to the public, what goes on around the police department, events going on in the community, and any other events going on uh, to the people. We're here in Memorial Field. We're here with Donna Wilbur and Tina Smith. They're both from the uh, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Thank you. Uh, so we're here at the Police Appreciation Breakfast. We're here with Deb Samaha. Deb, thank you again for a great year. This is the state's emergency operations center, and it's really the heartbeat of uh, the state's response to a disaster, which you see is a, is a, is a room. And uh, we'd often hand out um, certificates for uh, what we saw for good behavior. So people wearing helmets and riding bikes. The reason I was picked for it was because I'm the community resource officer. And when the idea first came forth, it was, it was interesting because we didn't have anything. We didn't have any kind of a song. We didn't have a name. So we put together piece by piece, and it's really evolved um, from what we kind of started with. Hi, welcome to On the Beat. I'm Officer Howe of the Concord, New Hampshire Police Department, along with Mark Haspis, the school resource officer here at Concord High School. Thank you for tuning in. Officer Howe, this is our brand new kitchen here at the Boys and Girls Club. Yep. And uh, what's really exciting about this is, first of all, we've always wanted the cafeteria for the kids to be able to do snack time. And it just serves as a large, multi-purpose kind of mm -hmm. space, which, is, which any place can use. But the other thing that we're going to do, which is really exciting, is we're partnering with the New Hampshire Food Bank, and we're going to provide dinner to any of our members and their families um, who need it. Uh, I and think this show is important for the community because it, it's another way of getting information out there. Um, a couple of times I've been out, and members of the community have come up to me, and they've said, hey, I saw your show last night. It was really good. Or I didn't know this was happening. All solid dosage pharmaceutical products and liquids in consumer containers will be accepted. These include all controlled and non-controlled drugs, over-the-counter medication, and liquids such as cough syrup. And we like to have different segments in the show, such as a regional crime line update, a did you know segment. Uh, we also talk with Matt Cashman from Concord High School with our chat with Matt section. And we're always looking for information from the community uh, for any event they want to promote or any ideas that they think should be put on the show. And he was here last week with us and he was trying to brush up on his rusty skills and the kids were all watching and he still has it. He still has it. What's your time? Uh, What's your best time? We also talk about uh, safety. Uh, we've talked about uh, safety, electrical safety, fire safety around Christmas time, and uh, how you always want to keep your vehicle locked and just be aware of your surroundings. Uh, we also talked about uh, motor vehicle safety, operating a vehicle, and also current changes in laws that people have to be aware about, and different traffic patterns that have changed throughout the city. Uh, one important uh, aspect or element of the show is we always want to give people another avenue where to look for things, such as when we have the drug take-back program. Uh, we want to show where the drug enforcement agency contacts would be if they have any other questions for it. Or if we talk about poison control, uh, we may talk about safety uh, issues, but if we haven't answered any question, we give them another avenue, whether it be a phone call or a web page where people can go. And again, if you have questions about a product that you're using and you're not sure how to use it safely, you can call the Poison Center, 1-800-222-1222. Great, awesome, that's great advice. Thank you so much, Laura. I'm glad uh, to- So Conquer TV endorsed Ballard have been extremely supportive of uh, the show and the police department. And their staff has been um, real easy to work with and accommodating for me, uh, which has made my job of putting the show together possible. Mm -hmm.